the drumhead, an admiral's efforts to root out a conspiracy quickly spirals out of control. We begin with Riker and Troy interrogating Jadon, a Klingon who was on board the Enterprise as part of another exchange program. They suspect him of sabotaging the warp drive, as well as delivering information to the Romulans. He accuses them of singling him out because he's a Klingon. And after the interrogation, Troy gives her standard patented assessment. It's hard to tell. He's very closed, but he is hiding something. He offers to help Worf restore his name if Worf can get him off of the Enterprise, but Worf's not putting up with that shit. Retired Admiral Satie is beaming aboard to help with the investigation, and I like that Picard mentions that she helped figure out the conspiracy from Season 1. And she brings two staff members with her. Satie is played by Jean Simmons, the other one, who I knew from the movie Spartacus. She has a long line of acting credits. I have also seen her in Spartacus and Guys and Dolls. I should check out more of her stuff. One of her staff is a Betazoid named Sabin, and he's played by Bruce French, and he has some acting credits too. He was in Airplane 2, he was in Jurassic Park 3, he was in Sorority Boys. He's not going to let Gene Simmons show him up. She first goes to inspect the damage to the engine room, and they look at the video, and the part that failed was in the plans that were stolen, and they couldn't find anything else wrong, so that's why they suspect sabotage. Worf tells Satie and Picard that he figured out how Jadon was transferring information off the Enterprise, which involves encoding information in proteins, and I liked that the explanation actually made sense, and they didn't just make up a bunch of pseudoscience gobbledygook bullshit. What he's talking about is something that people are actually experimenting with. Really? Yes. Cool. And he's storing those proteins in basically a syringe. And Satie tells Picard that she wants Worf involved with the investigation. In the interrogation, Jadon admits that he was transferring information to the Romulans, yet he still claims he didn't sabotage the engine. Sabin is thankfully much better at reading people than Troy, and he tells them Jadon seems to be telling the truth. So they think maybe there's another saboteur, which Picard lets us know how he feels by looking directly into the camera. Which led me to believe that I might be the saboteur. <laughs> <laughs> While drinking from a Fisher-Price tea set, Picard and Satie make a connection because her father's writings were required reading at the Academy. It was a good character building scene for Satie. So they start interrogating various crew members, starting with Beverly. She always rubbed me the wrong way. <laughs> Next, they interrogate one of her assistants, Mr. Tarsus, who responds very nervously to questions about his background, and at one point says that his grandfather was Vulcan. I thought his acting in this scene was really good. He was very convincing with his physical acting and his line delivery at seeming nervous. He says he didn't have a relationship with Jadon, but after he leaves, Sabin says he was lying about something. Picard isn't used to such an effective Betazoid, but doesn't want to act solely on his intuition. Siti asks him, If Counselor Troy suggested to you that someone on this ship were dangerous, would you not act on that? Observe him? Curb his activity? And Picard says yes, but we've seen many times that they don't. <laughs> a couple episodes ago, they were letting the infected crew member walk around. They've even let Borg just kind of do whatever they want. It happens a bunch of times. But Picard says they need clear evidence, which goes against Satie's wishes. And while you're being so generous, you give a saboteur a chance to strike again. All that she's suggesting to Picard is that he not let Tarsus into sensitive areas of the ship and keep him under surveillance, which seems pretty reasonable to me. And Picard's reluctance to do so is, I guess, supposed to make him look compassionate, but to me it just made him look like kind of an idiot. Jordy calls him down to engineering and reveals that there was an undetectable defect in the part that broke, so it wasn't sabotage at all, just an accident. And Picard gives Satie a smug look as if he has been validated but she is unwilling to admit there isn't some sort of conspiracy on board, and she wants to continue to interrogate Tarsus under the guise of proving him innocent. At one point, Picard says, If my crew say there was no sabotage, you can be sure there was none. As if his crew has never been wrong about anything in the past. Or possessed, or under the influence, or being manipulated. Ah. <sighs> Sati has also decided to make the hearings public supposedly to reduce the spread of rumors, which to me seems like it would have the opposite effect. Do you think she thought she was the bad guy, or do you think she thought she was doing things genuinely for the right reasons? I don't think this episode was developed enough to have those be valid questions. 
Okay, we're going to disagree on this one a lot. I can tell you right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sati asks Dr. Crusher if she ever saw Tarsus hanging out with Jadon, and Dr. Crusher says she doesn't understand why that would be significant, because she's an idiot. Sabin is grilling Tarsus, twisting his answers and quickly and very loudly, making broad assumptions to prove he's guilty of something, and he even lies about why the engine exploded. Does not what would you I've... say if I told you there is evidence that the explosion in the engine room was caused by a corrosive chemical, one that is kept stored in sickbay? And he accuses Tarsus of lying about his grandfather, who was in fact a Romulan. Which he says proves that he's probably guilty of other stuff too. But Tarsus, following Riker's counsel, declines to confirm the accusation. Oh, is that what was happening? I thought Riker was telling him what he wanted for lunch. <laughs> if you f up my lunch order one more time, you are fired. <laughs> Worf is fully on board with rooting out a conspiracy, and Picard relates the current events to drumhead trials of the past. Picard's feeling is that Tarsus is being accused without evidence, which in this case makes sense, although it also still makes sense to do more investigating. Sati is broadening her investigation beyond the ship itself, and Picard says things have gone too far and the investigation needs to stop, to which she counters that he must have something to hide if he wants to stop the hearings. And she basically tells Picard to stay out of the way. Later, Admiral Henry arrives to observe the hearings, starting with Picard. He starts by making an opening statement in the form of a speech. He asserts his perspective that Tarsus has not been shown to have committed any serious crimes and is being persecuted for his bloodline and, quote, innocent associations. But we still don't know what his associations with Jadon were about because no one has even asked him, nor, as far as we have seen, have any of the other people who associated with Jadon been questioned. He also requests that the hearing be ended, and during all of it, Admiral Henry doesn't respond. What did you think about his speech, though? I thought the things that he was saying made sense but I felt like this episode was purposely building an artificial divide between him and Sati. I completely disagree. Sati brings up Picard's numerous violations of the Prime Directive and calls into question his commitment and loyalty to the Federation itself. I was surprised that she said Picard only violated the Prime Directive nine times, but it also made me wonder why they even let him keep his position if he's violating the Prime Directive so often. Sabin brings up a lot of events from past episodes, including the Romulan spy who had been disguised as a Vulcan in Data's day. I thought it was a good way to connect a lot of past events to this episode. I agree. And when Worf protests, they use the fact that his father was supposedly a Romulan conspirator against him. Which especially pisses him off because he and Sabin had been working closely together and seemed to be on very friendly terms. Sati also brings up Picard's Borg experience to further undermine his legitimacy. Which worked. I didn't trust him at all after that. <laughs> But Picard uses his ace in the hole and quotes Satie's father. He talks about the dangers of restricting men's freedom, and Satie flips out and outright accuses him of consorting with Romulans and says she will take him down. Which causes Admiral Henry to walk out of the room. Without saying anything. Actions speak louder than words. I thought it was dumb. <laughs> I did not. And as Satie is sitting alone, she gets a nice final zoom shot. Worf visits Picard to tell him that Henry has called an end to the hearings, and Sati has left the Enterprise. He's ashamed of his own actions, and Picard says, Villains who twirl their mustaches are easy to spot. Those who clothe themselves in good deeds are well camouflaged. The drumhead. Overall? I found this episode very frustrating. I thought it was going to be a Klingon episode at first, and I actually got pretty excited because we haven't had one of those in a while and they're usually pretty good. Unfortunately, that's not what we got. The first half of this episode was intriguing, and I was wondering what was going to happen, but once Picard started opposing the investigation of Tarsus, I knew exactly how it was all going to play out, and because it's a TV show and Picard is the main character of the episode, you know he's right, and the rest of the episode became just a waiting game until the investigation fell apart. And how it fell apart was really dumb, because it just happens all of a sudden. Worf just walks in and tells Picard it's over. What a satisfying climax. I thought it was really stupid how Admiral Henry never said anything. It was supposed to make us wonder what was going to happen, but it just came off as cartoonish to me. The conflict itself, with Sati being overly hard on Tarsus, was also pretty cartoonish. At first, it didn't make sense for Picard to object to the investigation when Sabin sensed that Tarsus was lying, because that meant there was a clear reason to investigate. That was the whole point of questioning in the first place. Why bother questioning him if they weren't going to follow up on anything? And then they apparently didn't question anyone else that had been hanging out with Jadon, which didn't make any sense. 
Then later, Satie and Sabin started acting like blatant villains. I felt like I was watching an episode of Scooby-Doo. I liked the idea behind the episode, and the themes could have been really interesting to explore. But the episode handled everything so clumsily, with a pretty hard line between when the characters were acting rationally and working together at the beginning, to when they started doing and saying stupid things just for the sake of building up conflict, instead of having an organic, gradual divide come between Picard and Satie. I gave it a C-. I thought it was a huge missed opportunity for what could have been a really good episode. Oof. I know a lot of people really like this episode, and I honestly don't see why. Including me. <laughs> I gave it an A. Jeez. This episode was done as a courtroom drama to save money, which it did successfully. But to me, it proved that a good idea, executed well, can make a good episode without shoving excess money into it. This one is going to be a contender for my favorite episode of this season. Sacrificing freedom for security by spreading fear in the name of righteousness is scary, and we don't have to look very far for this episode to prove its relevancy. The show has delivered heavy-handed messages before, but I thought it did it effectively. I like that so many past episodes were brought up, and the way that Sati and Sabin twisted them was very effective from their perspective. I also thought it was great that the pull tab on Sati's outfit was a literal noose. So good. <laughs> I thought this was a good episode for Picard as well. I agree that their investigation of Jadon did not go far enough and they kind of just threw that aside. But once Sati realized that that wasn't going to further her own agenda, she just kind of threw it off. Do you think she was just looking for somebody to go after? I think that's her character. She's always paranoid looking for a conspiracy, for something hidden. Yeah, that's true. So she doesn't need a reason. She'll find her own reason. That's true, but it doesn't excuse her illogical behavior. Well, that's the point. It is illogical behavior. Yeah, they just didn't need to be portrayed so cartoonishly. So one of the biggest threats to the Federation so far has come from within the Federation itself, and this time without giant gummy monsters literally living inside of people. Unfortunately. I thought this one was really good. And I didn't. The end.